Welcome back, everybody, and thank you so much for spending some time with me. I'm very grateful. We are continuing our, our playthrough of Evil Genius 2. We've got enemies at our door. We've got a Yeti in storage, <laughs> in cold storage, that we need to drop somewhere in our base. Um, but I'm going to first try and figure out where Atomic Olga is, because she showed up at our base once. However, I couldn't ever find her, and it sounded like our guards took care of her, so security system's working well. But yeah, I never saw her, so I think we will probably keep an eye out for her. Looks like we've got some agents here trying to sneak out uh, because we have full cells, so we should probably do something about this too. Um, but somewhere in our base... Oh, here we go, here we go. We've got soldiers, I guess. These are soldiers uh, from the Hammer District, which I'm guessing is the district that Olga is coming from. But where is she? Oh, is that her? That might be her. Let's see here. I'm going to slow things down. Oh, yeah, that's her. She looks like a soldier. Okay. Cool. Well, we will try and capture her, and we will do our best. We'll have these guys uh, ins insert their credit card into this paywall before they move on, but they'll have killer bees and uh, looks like a guard waiting for them. So, <laughs> oh, man, I'm just <laughs> I'm not going to get over these traps. But, okay, so it looks like this situation is under control. We've got uh, soldiers on the run there. Let's see. Ah, yes, we've got all of these prisoners. So we had the forces of justice show up. Uh, Agent X showed up with a bunch of his pals as well, which is probably why our prison <laughs> is a little bit full right now. But what I really want to get to is the loot that we have. So do we have... Okay, so... Looks like we need to go into our missions real quick and accept our loot. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we've accepted our block of ice. Uh, and now we get to choose a new side story. I think I want to do another piece of loot because that was kind of fun. Uh, let's do um, going against the grain. What is this? The sands of time are shrouded in a mystery. We need to research them and figure out where they are going to appear next. So we will <laughs> do this. This is tell me about the sands of time. Well, some say time is like a river, but I know different. It's a bunch of sand in a large hourglass. I know what they are, you imbecile. But what I want to know is how do I get my hands on them? They're an ancient and mysterious artifact missing for centuries. Tracking, tracking them down will be difficult. Well, you better get started because... You don't find them, your time might run out. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is, looks like, complete, complete research project, hourglass figure. So we will do that in our research menu here. Uh, looks like we also have our main objective, which is to upgrade our void software, but we will uh, do our side story there real quick to begin with. They are still duking it out over here. Man, Olga is um, forced to be reckoned with. Have we captured any of them yet? Looks like a couple, maybe. Yeah, they have just kind of left a path of dead minions in their wake. Um, but we've got other things to attend to. We, we, need to <laughs> we need to look at this block of ice that we've been waiting for for so long. Okay, loot. Here it is. Okay, stay frosty. This large chunk of ice will cool the air enough to prevent fires in the immediate area. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, that's awesome. It's big. Um, I think, where do we have fires? We have a lot of fires in our control room. Should probably put this in here. Let's, let's clear out some space for this block of ice to live. In the control room, because... We've had so many fires here, 
and it would be just it would be nice to have a little bit of help all right so we'll turn it that way and we'll confirm so the first thing our employees will see uh when they go to work in the morning is a frozen yeti inside of a block of ice so that'll be fun that'll be fun and now we're investigating the sands of time which is also going to be great let's see the world stage uh, is looking okay i could probably uh, clean things up here a little bit but um, i think we're going to stick to con construction uh, i moved all of our security desks over here adjacent to all of our trap channels so we've got uh, all of our security oh okay so it looks like we've done the sands of time research and now we will need to steal the sands of time from the world stage so we will figure out where that is real quick right here we will launch that scheme and hopefully have the sands of time in our base sooner than later i'm gonna tag these agents real quick for capture because you can never have enough intelligence all right and i think we're going to continue like i said doing some construction in the base because i moved all of our security desks over to our traps area it just seemed to make sense uh, we don't have a lot of cameras we've got looks like uh, three cameras and we can support six so we're not really using these desks either so I think what we can do is actually convert this area into something else. And what I'm thinking is that we should probably give our agents a little bit more room for entertainment. So I'm going to take a minute here and we're going to turn this area into an employee relaxation lounge filled with life drawing tables and video games and everything. So I'm going to do that real quick. So I kept our desks here so that we can continue to monitor security cameras uh it's a little unconventional a little open-ended but um yeah they got good access to their security desks but we've got three video gaming pods here where people can sit down and play against each other people can also gather around and watch i don't know if you if you all saw video game high school or not but <laughs> That's that was kind of a fun show where uh, it was, you know, you sit down, you compete, you've got people gathered around watching. And so I would imagine that's what's happening here, something along those lines. And then we've got our life drawing area over here where we've got maybe a figure and um, we've got folks that can can sketch to their heart's content. We're going to drop some decor in here. What is this? This is, ah, yes, the coin operated arcade machine. Got to have a few of those, some potted plants maybe. Um, what's going to give us some benefit? Drinking fountain. Put a drinking fountain right there. Put a drinking fountain over here. Yeah, we'll just make sure that they are well taken care of. Coffee machine. That sounds like a, a great thing to have in the break room. I think we've got a few of these in the other break room. But yeah, so this is definitely going to help the morale of uh, our staff overall uh, we've got some interrogating to do here and um, looks like we're going to be able to recruit some of these soldiers which is great it looked like um, our security room was a little bit sparse so it's going to be nice to have some more soldiers to round out that table a little bit so we will just get these guys in the in the brain scrubbing room you know, we'll just get in there, really just clean all of all of the brains. Um, let's see, is that about it? Okay, we got another one here. Yeah, and then the other thing that I remembered is we've got a lot of new items that we can put in our sanctum. So we may jump downstairs and uh, do that as well. Okay, what's the deal here? This is Sean Ponchik. So his morale is super low. I think he's one of ours. Is he not? I think he is, but um, I guess we'll just have to interrogate him. All right, let's just jump down, and we need to add a few more things to our sanctum here. We've got the inner sanctum 
yeah, we've got all these new things that um, we can add. What is this? This is Newton's Cradle, an anti-gravity version of Newton's famous cradle that directly contradicts a number of his most important <laughs> theories. Okay, nice. We're going to put that in. Uh, DNA tube, going to need that. What is this? A column. An anti-gravity technology was invented by Zalika for a school fair, and she could find no better use for it. So these are these are anti-gravity columns. This is going to hold up our facility, I guess. So we'll put some columns in here. <laughs> That's kind of fun. And the big screen, so big and round and shiny, ideal for displaying pie charts. That's funny. All right, so uh, we may need to make more room in our sanctum at some point as well because we've got all this cool stuff and nowhere to put it. It would be cool if our sanctum could actually hold some of the science equipment. I wonder if they can. You see laboratory items. Can we put? It would be so cool if we could put lab items in our sanctum because we're the science-focused evil genius, but uh, I guess we can't do that. Um, but yeah, we've got sanctum updates. I'm going to add some more storage to our uh, vault area here real quick, and we will move on with the next bit. All right, so I didn't find any indication that we've got the forces of justice in the base, but I did go down to the lower level, and I forgot I had this little communications room, and this has some of our older equipment, which I guess we're supposed to use to do our brain frame part two. Um, research and so we're going to trace the scientist at a radio repeater. Uh, I had getting, gotten rid of all the radio repeaters, I thought, uh, but I forgot I had this little communications room downstairs. So we're going to, I guess, trace the scientist. Uh, I'm glad we still had these, but yeah, I couldn't find any indication that the forces of justice were prowling about. So I guess I'm just going to keep an eye out for them. Uh, it said they were on their way, uh, but I just don't see anybody. So um, a little disconcerting. I think what I want to do now is look for a place to expand our sanctum. And we're kind of already on the top level here. I like being next to all of our science equipment, but we're running out of room. We're getting squeezed out here by our vault. Uh, down below, we've got, we've got plenty of room here uh, adjacent to our power cell area. Um, I don't know. It's got to be a special spot, right? I mean, this is the evil genius. Uh, maybe, maybe eventually we can um, move some of the functions that are happening up here down into the basement and we can live on the top floor. Um, I feel like maybe this communications room might be a good spot for our sanctum, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to continue to think about that. Um, in the meantime, we just have a lot of agents showing up. So I'm going to tag these guys for capture. I'm going to actually clear out some space in our uh, holding cells because we just we don't have enough room for all of these people. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then we'll have a look at how our um, loot objective is going. Okay, so it looks like we are now at the point where we need to act grab the hourglass on the world stage. This is ongoing. And let's see, the sands of time have been spotted in this location. Quickly send your minions to grab them before they disappear. All right, so we are going to do that and we will just continue to track down the sands of time. And uh, looks like we need to keep the heat down. Oh, okay, so we just got locked out of this region. I'm guessing uh, Wrecking Bola is probably gonna show up in our Base at some point, uh, just missed that one, but um, yeah, the, the world stage seems to be okay for the most part. Uh, I'll continue to keep an eye on it in the background, as well as our research. We are doing the void software research, so hopefully this will move us one step closer to finishing off our void device. Oh, we've got people on the run. That's never good. What's happening here? There must have been a fight breaking out or something. I don't even know. Let's have a look here. Ah, uh, no, just agents trying to sneak in. Okay, nice. Well, we will tag them for capture, and uh, 
we will grill them for their intel. But I think what we're going to do now is uh, reassess the traps again and make sure that we are using all of the traps to their fullest potential. Let's see here. We've got Shark Tank, Shark Tank, uh, Disco, Bubbles, Lasers, Fire, Killer Bees, Punching Gloves, Slippery Floor, Bumpers, Poison Darts, Paywall, and the False Safe. So I think we've got them all. I think the last two that we need to do are, let's see, Puppy of Death. It is so cute. Okay, that's all the description. And then, of course, our Venus Spy Trap. So I think once our world domination uh, void software research is done, I will finish out getting those two traps, and we will add these last two to our base. But I think we've got everything else. Let's see. Knockout gas. We've done that in the past. I don't think we currently have one. We should probably, should probably put in some knockout gas somewhere. Let's see. Um, knockout gas right there. Okay, so we can probably, oh wow, we might be able to double up on traps. So we can do knockout gas plus lasers? No, no, it's not going to let us. Okay, let's see, where can we put this? I guess we'll put it in, um, in our hallway here. So uh, if somebody tries to sneak in, they will be met with knockout gas in either direction if we've got people coming in from this this door, which I think happens on occasion. That Agent Steel seems to just find his way or her way uh, into our base from this door. So it's it'll be nice to have some traps in here. Uh, these are where uh, two-thirds of our security cameras are as well. All right, program void, override, the agent's tech. Okay, so that research is done. We will we'll do the puppy, puppy of death trap. Uh, we'll start that research. All right, the agents are using telepathic gadgets to scan his wristwatches. You analyzed the code and used it to upgrade void. Okay, great. Let's do that. The code from the micro, microfilm should help void dampen the effects of the agent's watches. <laughs> should isn't good enough. We need to interrogate the scientist who made them. We didn't get her. All we got was her name, Lena Lundstrom. Lundstrom, I should have known. Bring her to me. She should be easy to find on her world tour. So, yeah, I think we've spoken with her uh, in the past, and so we will try and track her down again. But uh, we've got our side quest going here to find the sands of time on the world stage. We've got our research started on our puppy of death. Let's see. Oh, okay. We need to continue on. Lena Lundstrom is starting her publicity tour with a whirlwind appearance at an innovation conference in Mumbai. Send a team to bundle her into a car before she moves on. All right. So we're going to do that. I'm going to take a minute here to just clean up the world stage. And it looks like We've also got a few other Lena schemes here. You've stolen Lena Lundstrom's, uh, what did that say? Notes for her speech at a Kansas City graduation. It's making you sick reading about how science can give people more control, so on and so forth. So it looks like we need to upgrade our criminal network here, but um, we're locked out right there, so... Yeah, I'm going to take a minute and just clean up the world stage, and uh, I'll let you guys know if I pop into something else that uh, is of interest. All right, the Sands of Time have been located in an old clock emporium. If they're fast, your minions should be able to grab them. All right, so we will launch that screen. The, um, the rest of the world seems to be doing okay um, the forces of justice always hot on our on our tail, um, but it looks like we need to upgrade our network in a few regions before we can continue on with our void um, research and development. So I'm going to keep an eye on that as well. Um, but I think what I want to do now is we've got all these lockers, and I think some of these are the old school lockers, and we've done research now to update the uh, storage capacity of these. So I'm going to have a look at our storage situation real quick. 
and see where we're at with lockers, compact lockers. Okay, so actually let's make sure that we can't upgrade these anymore before we just go ahead and build a whole bunch of lockers. This would be probably layer. Okay, lockers, what's this? Compact lockers, yeah, I think, I think that is our highest tier of locker. So I'm gonna go ahead and construct new lockers in this area and um, actually let's see if we can consolidate them all into one spot where would be a good place to just have all of the lockers um thinking maybe in a lower level let's do that maybe down here and um yeah i think we'll do that i think we're gonna put all our lockers maybe in this little area here let's see if we've got enough space to do that it's gonna be Barracks. Is that going to be enough space? No, that's probably not going to be enough. I'm going to look real quick and see if we can find a spot to put all these lockers. All right, so what I did was I took that control room that I forgot that I had and removed all the equipment out of there and literally built a locker room. And so now all our lockers are going to be uh, in this one specific area and uh, I've removed all the other lockers from our base and so we've got some consolidation but now we've got some some more space to give to maybe our training area we can probably expand our communications room uh, seeing as how we kind of took some space from them uh, and then over here as well we can probably give some of that to our food area and to our lounging space um, but while I was doing that, we actually completed our Puppy of Death research. And so we will move on to our Venus Spy Trap. But we definitely need a Puppy of Death somewhere in here. I'm hoping we'll be able to squeeze one in here in our corridor. Let's see. Puppy of Death. There it is. All right. So... We have a shark tank here. We've got a shark tank there. I think we'll sell this one and we'll put our puppy of death in here. And we'll see what this is about. Oh man, I, I have no idea, but I'm excited. I'm excited to see what this does. Um, oh no. Okay, so one of our workers got caught up, but they're on it. They're on it. So many little secret agents trying to weasel their way into my base. Let's see here. <laughs> Make sure we put them all in handcuffs. There's it's just so much happening right now. Uh, let's see. You. Handcuffs. You. Handcuffs. Where are my guards? Do I? Okay. They just haven't been alerted yet. Okay. Um, yeah, looks like, do we have the pup? Yeah, Puppy of Death is on its way? Installed? I'm not sure. I don't know. Our, our poor people getting caught. I'm okay, I'm going to pause real quick. So one of the things that I like about this game is you can hit pause, and it just, like, freezes time, and you can, <laughs> you can spin around and see what's happening. Unfortunately, we've got some folks here of ours getting caught up in traps, but uh, I think I think that's so much fun to be able to just pause time, spin around, see what's happening. Um, <laughs> also gives me a little bit of space to breathe when I'm trying to figure stuff out here. Uh, looks like we captured those two, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna turn the pause button back off again, but I wanna see what happens with this um, puppy of death. We might not get to see what happens this time around. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on it. One thing that I haven't spent a lot of time on is just our front, our casino. People really seem to enjoy their time here at the casino. <laughs> I, I still have the original fountain that was in our base uh, when we started the game. I just think this is so funny. Um, having a derelict fountain in the middle of this fully operational and pretty luxurious um, casino. But I think, I think it's just funny that this thing's just going to be in disrepair forever, and it is 
pretty much the the focal feature uh, of the entire casino. Um, but yeah, I think I think there's opportunity to continue to um, mess with traps here, and so I think I'm going to do that. I'll keep an eye on our our puppy of death, but I want to maybe incorporate more of the pinball bumpers. We don't get to see those in operation that often because. Uh, so rarely do agents actually make it here. So maybe we do a, a pinball uh, bumper situation here in this space that's not being used. Oh, we've got agents. Let's see what happens with this puppy of death. Okay, they're on their way. Okay. Okay, so the puppy is there. It's barking. It explodes. <laughs> the puppy exploded. Oh, I don't think it got anybody, though, because Iris was here. All right. Well, that's funny. I like it. I like it. Um, we'll probably need more of those. But I'm going to take a minute here and just um, rethink our our trap situation like we, we often do and get more traps in here. In thinking about our trap situation, uh, these traps down here often get neglected. And so what I've done is um, we've got an agent and they're going to come through the door and they can either go straight. I mean, they can go right. They're going to get pulled into this anyway, uh, but they could choose to go left. And if they do, we're going to have a fan blow them through this bumper maze. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yep. This needs to happen right now. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're going to have them get blown through a bumper maze uh, up to this area right here. And so I think what we will do is we have a man-eating plant now, and that just needs to happen. Um, okay, so we're going to put um, Puppy of Death is going to be, I think, front and center. And let's see, how big is this man-eating plant? Man-eating plant is pretty big, but it's going to fit right there. So we're going to have Puppy of Death. We're going to have Man-eating Plant. And we'll see what happens here. Oh, man. This is going to be good. I'm looking forward to this. Okay, so we're moving, moving Puppy of Death. Man-eating Plant is on the way. Do we have agents in the base? Oh, okay. So we've got soldiers. This is going to be good. This will be a good test of our new system. Okay, hopefully we get that man-eating plant installed here before the soldiers uh, come through the door, but let's have a look. We'll just keep an eye on it. I'm not exactly sure where that man-eating plant is. Oh, here it comes. Okay, this is going to be perfect timing. All right, soldiers on their way. Man-eating plant. Oh, no. They're running. They... Okay, well, there's the puppy of death. They're shooting at the puppy. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if anybody takes a left here. That's quite the shootout. Okay, so we didn't get to see our man-eating plant. It, um... The minion was actually intercepted before they could uh, get that installed. But I'm hoping maybe one of these soldiers will, will dip in over here and get uh, blown into our laser wall. I'm hoping. We'll speed up time and see what happens. But looks like our, our hitmen are having a little bit of trouble uh, containing these soldiers. These soldiers are uh, a force to be reckoned with, it looks like. Where's Iris? Let's get Iris over here. And maybe we'll come help as well. We'll get all hands on deck for this soldier situation. And uh, once we get this, is that a bazooka? That guy had like a missile launcher, launcher or something. Oh my gosh. Well, it's a good thing we're here. It's a good thing we're here. I think I've said it before, but I really like the animation on our hand cannon laser thing. Um, just the green laser with kind of the 
I don't know, blast of protons or whatever it is that uh, Zalika is shooting there. But I really like it. All right, let's let's clean up after that catastrophe. We've got our man-eating plant installed now. Okay, just missed it. Just missed it with those soldiers. Um, but we'll keep an eye out for some more agents and hopefully get to see that man-eating plant uh, in action here. All right, I found it. The Sands of Time in an Urban Forum. What an oregano idea. Let's just grab them before they disappear. All right, so we're going to try and do that. We'll grab the Sands of Time. And hopefully we can bring them back to our base, like we did our giant block of ice, which I think is coming in handy. I'm sure our, our folks appreciate a cooler working environment. Let's see what we've got going on here. Folks slipping. Do we have any investigators in the base? No, no, we don't. All right. Well, we will see this man-eating plant in action. Oh, I heard the boat. Did I hear the boat? I did. Okay. Let's see if we've got investigators. No, just a bunch of tourists. Where are all the investigators? Man, where's an investigator when you need one? All right, we've got agents coming through the door. Let's see what happens. Disguise is on. Whoa! <laughs> that is amazing oh I love it oh that's my favorite trap that is funny okay we've got the puppy let's see what happens here with the fan oh no <laughs> that worked so well oh man oh these traps are amazing Oh, you guys have to play this game just to play with these traps. It's so much fun. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm just going to enjoy watching these guys get pummeled by all of these traps. Oh, my gosh. That guy went backwards. <laughs> oh, man. If you guys would consider tickling those like and subscribe buttons, um, I, I enjoy spending time with you, and that's uh, kind of the only way that I'm going to get to continue to do it. So would love for you guys to subscribe and make sure you get all the latest uh, in videos, because we will be playing more games for sure after this. So we'll see you all in the next one.